Well, let's continue with the Spectrum Retreat. Uh, Blackhammer, if you are still here, this is a base, this is a narrative puzzle game that uh, that uh, talks about a hotel that is completely robotized, uh, which is very interesting, com uh, especially since we have been talking about AIs and stuff. Uh, but but yeah, this hotel is like completely the same every day and it uh, basically it bases its uh, user satisfaction on the fact that every day is, is the same and uh, there is no change and we the person that we are playing which we don't know who we are we have no idea what what is your, our name why did we get there we have to find out thanks to a person called Cooper who is calling us uh, through a phone we have to find out what are we doing there and um, yeah by, by the way uh, notice how the phone is completely glitched but if we if we get far away it it gets fixed I love this effect I really like this effect so yeah uh, this is the puzzle part of the game Oh wow, this is all red ones. This is all red squares. I thought this was a story part, but no, this is just red squares. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? I have no clue what I have to do here. Huh. So... So I cannot... I cannot press that. Can I press those lights there? I cannot. What the... Okay. That was incredibly scary. So basically if we... If we right click, we get like pushed to that part. Okay, interesting. That will be. I got a little bit. I got a little bit motion sick from that. Like, that was a very quick movement, and the sound didn't help. The sound completely didn't help. Uh, okay, so. Let's brace ourselves. Okay, that's... I have to get used to that. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so I need to grab the yellow one. Wait, no, actually no. There, there will be the yellow one. And I will go there. Then grab the yellow one. And go here. Also, the music is so nice. I really love the music in this game. Okay, so this is a... Uh, these are chairs from the real world. Looking after your future. Oh no, this is is this the hospital that um Yeah. Huh. So basically one of the aspects of the story that we don't know about or we know very little about is that there is a kid, 11 years old kid named Robin, who has a very weird genetic illness. And the parents, which like maybe we are Robin Maybe we are the parents of Robin, we don't know, we have no idea. Uh, maybe we are co someone completely different. But the parents have been trying to go to the hospital all the time to, to get tests and so on. However, um, the insurance didn't want to pay for those tests because they said that since we don't know what the illness is, the, those tests were unnecessary. 
some, some kind of uh, BS excuse why they couldn't cover it. Same as most insurances do. Uh, but yeah. So, so yeah, the parents are like out of money. They cannot get another loan because the bank has already given them many loans and the bank also doesn't want to give them more loans. And... Um, it's just a very unfortunate situation. We don't know what will happen to Robin. Will they survive? Will they not survive? We don't know if Robin is a girl or a boy. It doesn't really matter either way. Oh wow, that's way too much. Okay, so... Um, so there is red color there. Okay, so, what do I need? I need to, my phone, I need to be yellow, I need it to be yellow. And at the same time, I need this one to be white. Okay, so this way we have removed the color from the red square over there. Now we can get the... Now we can get the yellow color here. This, when it's like in this uh, little like, I don't know, case or something. Uh, it means that it will never run out of the color. So you can, you can throw colors at it and it will eat them. So we get now the... We got now the yellow square, now we have the yellow square there, we have a red color in our phone. And we can just do this. We now have yellow, so we can go there. We can leave the yellow there so our phone is white, and then we can pass through this door. For peace of mind, Indigo Healthcare Group. Yeah, Indigo Healthcare Group is the, like the hospital or the ins healthcare insurance that they, are, they have been trying to... Uh, go through. Okay, these are three squares that are constantly rotating. That means we can save three different colors there. One of them will be blue. I guess one of them will be black. Maybe one of them will be red. I don't know. We will see. Uh, which color we are having right now? Okay, we have the Uteranopia. Okay, that's fine. Let's play on uh, colorblind mode, because why not, since I don't really care. Ah, so there we go. This is a story section inside the puzzle section. So whenever there is like a real world corner with like chairs or books or anything, like we can get closer here. It gets all like the colors change. It gets all glitchy and stuff. And we can read this. The King of Betrayal. Fury as Crow flip flops on healthcare promises. So Crow is like the governor of somewhere in the US, I don't know. And uh, he's like, they, they, uh, he wants obviously people to vote him. And in the story section, in the, in the hotel, that is like the story section, there are a lot of like pamphlets with. Uh, with uh, vote crow for governor uh, written there and, and so on. So I don't know why, what crow, um, what this Mr. Crow has to do with the story, but I suppose since the healthcare uh, situation is really close to Robin and their parents and so on, I think we will see it later on. Press conference. Governor Crow accused of social engineering as, he, as new speech sparks fierce reactions. Amid scenes of anger and disbelief, 
Governor Crow yesterday set out his vision for another model of public US healthcare with surprising echoes of the past and in doing so faced accusations of betrayal and breaking pre-election promises. How unusual, right? Almost as if everyone did that. The system is broken, Crow told reporters in SF late Tuesday. It can't be fixed. Believe me, if it could be, I would fix it, he said, of course. That's what the last administration did to us. That's what they did, so it has to go. In an angry rebuke, Senator Adam Curtis. Okay, uh, one second. I feel that my computer is really warm right now, and I don't know why. Hmm, doesn't matter. I hope it's okay. Like, maybe, maybe it's, it's always warm like this, and I just have never noticed. Let me... Let me do one little thing here. Wait, what? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Okay. <laughs> Let me open a program to monitor the temperature. Okay, the CPU is. Wait, the CPU is definitely like a uh, very low temperature. Like it's not even sixty. Then again, it's also not very used. It's it's barely used. However, the GPU is the GPU is okay. The GPU is fifty percent. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this game takes around 50% uh, of my GPU. That's not bad. Uh, sorry, uh, let, let's return to the game. In an angry rebuke, Senator Adam Curtis, uh, FL, I suppose Philadelphia or something, was scathing. This is more than just the usual bowing and scraping to the insurance industry. What Crow is putting forward is quite literally social engineering. I know that sounds dramatic, but it's unquestionably true. This is population control, eugenics. Crow is actively trying to kill our country's poor, most, our most vulnerable. Poverty mustn't be a death sentence. When it comes to betraying American families, he's the king. Crow hit back in typical form. Irrational exchanges devoid of any factual basis. Nonsense. Disgusting nonsense. It will save billions for you, for your children. With no signs of backing down, Crow is likely to find himself the, the target, target of many more attacks in the coming months. Very interesting. So, sorry, I'm kind of mesmerized by the numbers. <laughs> I like uh, techy numbers. So, we are here to help, of course. We are. Uh, they are. They are always there to help. Uh, so these are the three squares that we can change. Okay. So there is nothing here, basically. Like. Oh, we have to go up there. Yeah, interesting. So this is the entrance. Okay, so... So we got the blue color. Let's go here now. Okay, I guess I, I need to do this then. And yeah, we, we can pass this. Uh, we can get the colors from this window and pass them again, like to here. So now we have all three colors. Now we need blue to 
to go through here. Now we need white. Okay. So we will get the blue one now. Okay. Okay, we will get the red one now to go there. And we need the yellow one, okay. Uh, okay, we have the yellow one there. And now we need the red one again. So we'll go to the red one. We'll grab the yellow one from here. And we can pass the door. Okay, these puzzles are not difficult at all. So the GPU is around 60 degrees, a little bit more maybe. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Okay, there is this corridor here, where does it lead? For peace of mind, yeah of course, it's very peaceful. So there are two completely distinct areas. Interesting. So there is white there. Let me try going there just to see. So, okay, so it's completely different. There are completely differentiated areas here. Maybe that's the exit? I can't really see that. Hmm, okay. Let's uh, check another story aspect of this. And since it's all like uh, holograms, we can just pass through it. It's not... It's not uh, solid. So this is there. Nothing of this is important. Nothing of this is important either. Okay, so this is basically the same thing. Interesting. So there is nothing new there. I guess basically if, if we miss that... I don't know, let's, let's try it like this. Aha, uh, uh -huh. okay, so we need the yellow one anyway. So we needed to do that, okay. That's fair. So we needed a yellow color. We will jump there. Um, where do we get the red color though? Hmm. Hello, Snake. Welcome back. What was the YouTube video about? I love the music. The music is really cool. Uh, so we are warping around in this game currently. Oh, RimWorld video. Cool. Can we... No, we cannot get the thing there. Huh. Okay, so I guess I need to restart. Then a Rust video? I didn't know you... I didn't know you played Rust. Okay, so we have white. We need this red color to go there. Huh. So... Was it was the Rust video interesting then? What do my co-workers play Rust plays Rust a lot? Interesting, okay, so how do we do this? We definitely need the red one to grab the yellow color. So we will jump here. 
we will leave the red there and we will grab the yellow okay so now we still have the red here okay that's yellow we need to grab the red color now so we need to leave that one to be yellow now we need to go there wait one what time did the man go to the dentist 2 30 2 30 okay 2 30 nice nice i didn't get it uh, the first but yeah <laughs> 2 30 indeed indeed so we have a yellow color now we can pass through this door okay uh, so we will leave this blue here Um, hmm. How do we do this? So we need the blue there. I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, then we go here. We leave the blue color there. Just in case we will save the red color as well. Okay, so we have blue color now. We still need red though. We still need red. <coughs> I was trying to make a system that would uh, that would allow a viewer to come first and uh, grab a VIP for the stream, and then it would automatically return uh, or or uh, unvip him when uh, when the stream is over. I'm something about it was wrong. I didn't quite figure out what. I think my program is is a little wrong because, well, I, I will not go into details because no one would understand it, but you know. Yeah, that that's what I was doing this morning. I was I was trying to make like a VIP redeem, but it would be like for the first person who redeems it per stream. And um And uh, then it would, uh, at the end of, v VIP. Like, VIP. No, no, yeah, no, not VAP, sorry. Sorry if I said VAP. <laughs> My English is sometimes, yeah. Uh, okay, so... I think, I think that's what we need to do, right? We just go here, we grab that blue thing. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's what it, that was the puzzle. Okay, nice. The problem with the VIP is that I cannot test it because you cannot be a broadcaster on a VIP. You cannot test it uh, because you are also a VIP already. Leia cannot test it because she's a moderator and... Uh, Moderators cannot be VIPs, so it's a little bit, yeah, complicated. I don't know who to test it with. No, it's 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 not really done. It's um... let's say I need uh, people over IT to be moderators because because of stuff we have talked to, like like um, you know. 
uh, jokes about minorities and so on and so forth. Like, even I struggle with it, and I am like 25, but... Um, yeah, it's... I don't know. Uh, oh, so there are three colors here. Interesting. So I need the blue color. But yeah, like, having moderators... It's really difficult because... Exactly, that, that's the thing. That's why I don't really think it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, this is the same article that we already read. So basically this section is all about... <laughs> Sorry, Snake. Uh... There needs to be a little bit of, like, understanding that minorities don't really like jokes about them. <clears throat> of course, there are exceptions. Of course, some... Like, my coworker, who is, uh... Who is black, he constantly makes... Uh, well, actually, he doesn't make black people jokes. But he does laugh to racist jokes. That doesn't mean it's okay to make them. You know, like, just because there are, there, there, is, there are people who don't mind it doesn't mean there are there, there aren't people who mind it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. So, I need to go down here, I guess. Maybe, possibly. Uh... Beaner. So, there are three doors here, and I cannot go through any of those. And I cannot go up there again. Okay, never mind. I need to restart. Uh, so... Oh, wait. Okay, I, I need to go there. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. So, there are... Huh? I don't really understand, like, beaner? What does it mean? Like, is that a bad word, or...? Lawn care business. Okay. 